Malibu. No. <laughs> but see, I, I okay, what, all right. Rooms. See, all right. Somebody that like lives here, that max. makes the money here, that does that, and then goes and buys something, that's different than I just won this big yeah, chunk true. of change, true. life changing. Oh, I'm going to go buy a 25. Why? Go yeah. travel. True. Go travel. That's go what see I would the do. things that you haven't seen. Yeah. And then if you want to come back, it's still going to be here. Right. You know? And that's what I would do. Like, I would. I would probably shock people with how small I would live, but just in a, I think it's raining. Is it? Yeah, it is. I, it, but yeah. We're on, people. We're on. Hey, everybody. It's just a little after seven o'clock and we're just starting to gray spot. We've been sitting here conversating and I'm all done. It has been a great show, everybody. <laughs> thanks for tuning in. No, that's not how it's going to start, but it is going to start with me saying some thanks to a bunch we- of people that are always on my mind. First of all, it's going to be Marcel. Thank you, Marcel, for always being here, being my buddy, being my friend, helping me out, doing all the tech stuff. Moy, you're always out there. You're always helping us out, and the support is amazing. I'm sure there's going to be some other people that I'm not thinking about. I wanted to give a shout out to my pilot, Mike, which I don't think he's watching right now, but if he is, Mike, hey, you know what? Love you, brother, and you know what? The job is to get the shot, but other than that, everything else is always okay. Okay. Hey. Jo- Jody and Jeanette. I don't know why I'm saying hi to you, but there Jody. Are moderators in this chat. Yes. They are moderators? We have yeah, moderators? We have moderators. I thought we were the I moderators. Showed... Jody. They, they jump in and help out. They jump in and help out. Jody, Jeanette, thank you so much for keeping control of the crowd. Ho- hopefully, you can hold them back for a little while and tell them not to rush the stage. Uh, anyways, other than that, we should start getting going today. We really have been sitting here talking, conversating today. It's going to be Jeremy Lee. Hold on. Before that. Before that. Say hi to CMR. You're right. Let's say thanks, CMR. CMR. Yeah. You know, so in this, this is, this is number four. I, I say it slowly with number four. And, uh, CMR is definitely the co-host. She is the one that's taking <laughs> care of business. She's the one that is here. She's the facts checker. She is the emotional support. She's not just the bookend. And of course she is out there and she is the one that's actually reading all the, all, everything that's coming across on that screen that when you type in the questions and you know, she is one of the gatekeepers because we apparently we have more. I didn't even know. And uh, but she, is, she, got her own camera she got her own camera. We've been we've been we've been working on it. You can see Marcel in the background. Yeah. Yes. In, in the kitchen. <laughs> Marcel's in Marcel's in the kitchen cooking it up. <laughs> Let him cook. Let him cook. So uh, anyways, is anybody else for real? For real? Because, you know, honestly, I I, I do. I, I I sit there. I, I had a had a moment during the week where I was actually thinking about how much love I get uh, just trying to chase dreams. And I really do appreciate it from everybody, viewers, people that uh, see me on the streets. And of course, we're going to talk stickers before the end of the show. But now we're going to introduce my buddy, Jeremy. And uh, Jeremy Lee, he is uh, the Krispy Kreme Takeover Tuesday guy. Tuesday. And uh, if you might, <laughs> might have noticed, I'm wearing, uh, wearing my hat, which I didn't just get today. I'm wearing my, uh, my shirt. I'm not showing, showing you my nipples, but I'm showing you my shirt. <laughs> and I, I can tell you I wore this on air, and I got people hit me up on the Internet that didn't know the connection between Jeremy and I because this is all Jeremy's brand. But you know what? Let's start with that. Let's stop with the butts and let's start with this. What is the Secret Society? So the Secret Society, we're a social club. Uh, we're a social club of individuals that revolve around hobbies. Uh, a lot of us are car guys. A lot of us are gear heads. Uh, right. There's a lot of tech heads. I mean, tech heads usually cross over to being a car guy. Okay, so, they're, so they're, they're, it, it, it's cars. It's cars. It's cars. It's cars. We're talking cars. I'm, I'm getting sweaty. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. So, so you guys are talking cars. So it's all, it's all car stuff. So did this evolve or has this always been there? So this evolved after, I guess, TakeOver started becoming a problem. A problem? Yes. You say? Yes. Because TakeOver... Because you became too popular? Uh, you know, they're creating a bad image for car culture. The heck you say. I know, right? So a bunch of people in a parking lot is creating a problem for car culture? They don't hang out in parking lots. They actually decide to typically 
stop at intersection. Oh, you're talking about those guys. Those guys. Those guys. So if people don't know, um, I am very in tune to the car culture. I do love cars. I do love the car culture. I don't own anything flashy right now. Maybe someday again. But right now, but I do appreciate the culture. I do appreciate everything from um, the low riders, the rice rockets, um, and the old school hot rods. I don't think, and, and even, even, even mutters and anything else. It's, it, if it's a car and it's going, I'm all about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I do understand what you're talking about with the car, with the takeovers, and it's kind of like anything else. It's like, you know, you had this cool thing going on, and then you've got these, you know, the rowdy bunch that shows up and just starts wrecking it for everybody. Yes. And the sad part is that I don't even think they're really a part of car culture. They're more a part of the Instagram fame culture. You know, so because, you know, you, you, it's easier to go viral when you're doing something bad. True. You're doing something mean to someone. You know, it's just, it's, it's the way our algorithm works. It picks up more on the negative than the positive. And that's why the takeover culture has gotten so big. You know, it's because they're, they're a bunch of people doing things that they shouldn't be doing. Right. And getting away with it and posting it online. Right. So, you know, so basically what you're telling me is that when we see those uh, street takeovers, those guys doing the donuts, sucking on those balloons, what's in those balloons? I don't understand it. Ah. So they like the helium? So they <laughs> like to talk funny? It's a, it's a medical grade laughing gas. What? Here I thought it was just helium. Man, that, that's dangerous. They should be careful. Well, that's why some of them crash. Yeah, I, 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 I believe me. I believe me. I know. I really know what's going on there. But so, so it, it is. It's like these guys aren't out there talking about the, the gear ratios and, and what kind of posi traction that thing has and what kind of torque is in that motor or what year that thing was built or why this one is better than that one. They're really just out there creating problems. Yes. And you know, it opens up a door for society to frown on and create, you know, legal issues for other types of car clubs mm -hmm. and car culture. Yes. And that's actually the issue that's uh, progressed. So because of takeovers, they passed a bill not too long ago uh, that now can deem a gathering of two or more vehicles um, if they're supposedly doing something wrong or going to set up a race or they're trespassing like having a car meet at a property they could be deemed an issue and ticketed just for being there right and, and the ticket's a mandatory five hundred dollar fine so that means people like myself that typically don't fight the law or throw things at an officer right we could be easily targeted now or should i say mistargeted going after me to look like they're going after the takeover issue. Right. And, and this is, this is, that is the real problem right there. It's like, you've got these, you've got, you've got people that are just in, in a, this is the thing. It's not like I'm talking about, you know, 10 people in so many of us are all about our cars. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you get proud about something and you want to show it off or you get involved with like, you know, I'm working on my car. I know Bob's also a Chevy guy. And then, you know, Mike is over there and we're all going to start hanging out and talking. And all of a sudden it's an issue. When I was in my teens, you know, the cops drove by. But, you know, for the most part, I was always venturing to say that they weren't, they weren't sitting there, you know, tapping their nightsticks going, you know, we're going to come and get you. They were just looking at the cars. Yeah. You know, we would, we'd hang out at Van Nuys and, and you know, it's, it's odd because I actually talked to some famous people that came from the generation actually before me that became famous racers that actually hung out at the same McDonald's on Van Nuys Boulevard that I had my own spot at when I was in my teens. Like literally I would pull in with my 68 and if there was somebody there, the people were like, hey, hey you got to go, you got to go. And, you know, I got to park there. And now just that could be a problem. Yeah. Um, and actually, <clears throat> it's, it's shrinking the culture. Right. Uh, and then the, the problem with shrinking the culture is that car culture is not just an L.A. thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of a California West Coast. Oh, it's, um, it's all over. It, everybody, it's, everybody. it's all over, but it's yeah. really like it's, it's huge here. Right. You know, it's not just like a small group of people. You know, there's 
thousands of car guys now that won't even drive their car outside because of the takeovers. You know, because now they're being targeted. Right. And, and unfortunately, you know, we the ticket for us, it stands. You know, we don't run. Uh, it's, it's, there's no point to run. Most of us are working, hardworking people. Uh, and, and, you know, I get the optics to go after the takeover culture on the law enforcement side. But how are you going to? I mean, really, truly, I mean, how is, how is law enforcement going to you know, take, do something like that. Now, Marcel is, I can see him doing stuff over there, but he and I, when we go out stringing, we wander over and we, that, that seems to be, that's the, that's the low hanging fruit. If we're out stringing at night, we know we can go to a street takeover because we know that that's going to be going on, that that's going to be happening when we get there, opposed to, you know, something else that's going to be fleeting. But, you know, you get there and there are, maybe a hundred, maybe more people there. And how, how, how do, what are officers going to do? And, and, and they know this. That's the part of it. I mean, it's, it's the bigger issue we have with a lot of things going on is they just don't enforce the laws they already have. I agree with that. So they, they're creating more laws, more bills, and they're not enforcing the laws they have. You right. Because back, back in... You know, I could say the heydays of street racing when I, when, when I was in the car community. If you got caught racing and you were, you know, in, in any, if any Exhibition part, of exhibition speed. Exhibition of speed. Exhibition of speed. They start, they crushed your car. Yeah. You know, and now these takeover guys, they're going even further. And now they're stealing cars. Yeah, they're stealing cars to go do this. They're stealing cars to go do it now. So, so basically that's a cancer in the culture that needs to be taken care of. And I mean, do you, I'm. I, I'm at a loss. Do you have any ideas? Do you have a, do you have a, like, th this is what we should do. Newsom, let's get him on the phone. <laughs> uh, I mean, if I had an idea, it, it would be to enforce the laws we already have. Right. You know, and actually hold these people accountable. Um, maybe even make them do some community service. You have to make them not want to do it. You know, the problem. But do you really think that they're not good? I mean, I, look, we all, we, we live in a real world and we all know people like that, you know? And do you really think that, you know, let's say Johnny Law, you know, puts the cuffs on somebody, that person actually, you know, sees the inside of a jail for a moment. Do you think that person is really going to be, is he, that one change, I mean, I know everything starts with, the, with one, but do you think that that one person is really going to, it's going to make a difference? you think that guy is going to be like, oh, golly gee, I shouldn't do that anymore, you know? Uh, people get turned into rats very quickly in that community. All because, <laughs> all because they were scared. So, so, you're saying, so you're saying that, that basically what's going to happen is somebody's going to get caught, they're going to rat somebody out, and then the other people are going to go beat up that person, and then that person, then somebody else is going to get caught. And then it basically, so you're thinking that it's going to take care of itself. It's going gonna, it's gonna to collapse. Well, not, it, and I don't mean rat in just I understand. In, 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 you know, telling a story about right. someone else, but I mean, they get more scared than they want to act. Like, right. they don't get scared. Right. You know, the average person hasn't been arrested, hasn't been put in cuffs, hasn't had to go face a judge. Right. I have. I, and I'm saying this, and I'm right. not lying. I actually have. It's right. not a fun situation. Oh, and then, come on. <laughs> and then if you have to pay a fine or go on probation. But see, you know, okay. I, 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 I now, under are, are these laws, like, only in California, or are they... Everywhere throughout the United or... States. Uh, they're actually, there's exhibition of speed laws everywhere. Oh, yeah, exhibition okay. of speed yeah. is, yeah, I, I, that, yeah. I venture to say that every state has or that. Or showboating, there's showboating laws. Okay. Right. Um, but California has some laws that they can actually really crack down on the issue. Right. Um, but, I mean, recently, you know, there was a, there was a story that went uh, viral online where the D, uh, uh, I think another, a lawyer, uh, you know, that was representing the city. Right. Um, straight out said that, you know, I hate to talk a little bit politics, but Gascon is having a conversation with them. They're having a conversation of why they shouldn't do this. Why? Oh, yeah. Why they shouldn't be doing the street takeovers. Yes. Right. Yeah. Conversation. Yeah. You know, nobody. OK. You know, I, <laughs> I honestly between you and I and, and anybody else listening is I kind of have a feeling that the street takeovers are a fad. You know, that's going to kind of go away. Um, 
I am from a generation where my, my niche when I was a kid was street racing. That then literally we all went to McDonald's, we hung out, then everybody went out to Glen Oaks and Peoria. There was another spot over by the five freeway. San Fernando? San Fernando. <laughs> and, and, you know, and, and we all had the room, you know, oh my God, that's where the so-and-so crashed and his car got fire and somebody died. And, and, and we don't even, I don't even know if it was true, but, but we would go there and we would race, right? And, but we mostly just, were just a bunch of kids that were hanging out, you know? And were there crashes? I would venture to say from all the times I was there, it's gonna be a no, you know? Um, were, were you go, was there exhibition of speed? Heck yeah, there was exhibition of speed. Okay, so what I wanna know, like there's people that are asking in the chat, like Amber's asking, like how police are stereotyping anyone, any kind of car fanatics, what kind of like, have you encountered any of that when you're trying to just do a meet or a little gathering? Yeah, yeah. So I, I could tell a firsthand story. Okay. Right, uh, please do. It was a Thursday night and I'm driving by, um, I'm driving in Northridge. Um, I have a modified, uh, not modified. <laughs> uh, completely stock. This AI, AI modified. Wink, wink, yeah. wink. Completely uh, stock. Uh, Mitsubishi uh, Lancer. Right. Um, and I have a uh, aftermarket exhaust on it. Mm -hmm. The heck you say. I know, in California. Oh my uh, and I was simply just driving. I wasn't speeding. I wasn't doing anything crazy. I was literally just having a nice little drive. Yeah. I, had a, I had a date with me, actually. Okay. Um, that's I, a whole other story for yeah, another. Yeah, that's a whole other story. Well, we might get there. Um, I come to a stop, a stoplight on uh, Balboa Boulevard. I'm on Balboa right. and Nordoff for anyone that lives in the valley. I'm, on, I'm literally at the stoplight. An officer pulls a little bit next to me, but a little bit behind me. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you know what's coming. And I kind of know what's <laughs> coming because I've done this dance before. Well, were you just doing donuts? I wasn't doing anything. I was literally just driving. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm jumping. I know, I know. I'm chomping at the bit here, but it's is fine. it a stick shift? It's a stick shift. So were you like, nin, 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 no, nin. no, 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 no. You, you, I was literally, you would tell us. No, I, was, I would self, tell you. No self-respect. I, I would, I would, <laughs> I was literally, yeah. I actually saw the officer right. before, okay. so I, I got even more, uh, less on the throttle. So um, you were on the throttle. No, I wasn't on the throttle, right. but I made sure to like really keep it as low as RPMs as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cause there's an officer. Yeah. And we come to this stop and she, the, it's a, it was a female officer. And she, uh, she was jealous of your she day. Stays, <laughs> she stays behind me. The moment the light turned green, whoop, she lit me up. I didn't even take off yet. She literally lit me up, lit me up the moment the light turned green. I pulled over because there's no point in running. It's, it's pointless. Yeah. Um, rolled down my windows because it's the polite thing <laughs> to like, do. Uh, hands on the steering wheel. <laughs> hands on the steering wheel. <laughs> yes, miss. And no, miss. She, she goes, uh, you know, your car sounds kind of loud. How can you hear me when I haven't even taken off? Yeah. Right. Literally, I, I wasn't even, in, I was in first gear and you pulled me over. She said, well, you know, I want to search your car. And me For paraphernalia? Being, me, she just wanted to search my car and me knowing that I didn't break any laws and supposedly I have rights. Oh, I know where this is and going. I say supposedly I have rights. Yeah. Um, I denied her the search, but I said she's allowed to write the ticket for the exhaust if she believes it's too loud. Mm-hmm. Um, she then proceeded to say, well, then I'm going to arrest you. And I said, for what? Yeah, me too. And she said, for denying me the search. Is there a law like and that? And I said... Marcel, do you know anything about this? Okay, yeah. And I, I, <laughs> there's a lot of ways around that, but there, it is illegal for them to arrest you for denying a search. Yeah. Is so, there a song like that? Mm -hmm. So I called the bluff. So this Chameleon is where, we, this is where yeah. I start doing the fact checking. <laughs> yeah. So this, I, this, yeah, there I, you go. <laughs> I, I called the bluff, and it was uh, a department from Devonshire PD. Oh, no. And she had me step out of the car when my date was in the car, to, told me to turn around, put me in handcuffs. Really? Proceeded to take everything out of my pockets. Really? And then at that moment, at this point, I'm like, call your supervisor now. Um, at this point, she throws me in the back of the car, and I am technically officially arrested, even though I'm detained. Okay, all right, all right. Also, just for, for the viewers, and, and this is a great story, I'm, I'm riveted. <laughs> Were you already Jeremy Lee? Yes, but here's the kicker. Okay. 
so after they called the supervisor, the chief of police came. The chief, the chief, the chief of police. I took his. Michael call. Moore was not there. The, the, <laughs> the chief of police came. No, the chief she, of police. She did decided not come. to tell me that they were part of a task force that specifically went after takeovers. Okay. And I proceeded proceeded to tell them. My car cannot even participate in a takeover. Right. Because it's an all wheel drive car. Okay. I cannot do a donut. So, this is car. recent then? This is uh, probably, I want to say, two years ago, three years ago. Well, okay. Did we have takeovers? Um, I'm, 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 they were, I guess yeah, we did. We were, yeah, 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 we were. were yeah, they were taking over. So, he said, you know, unfortunately, she can arrest you, but if you pop the hood, I will not arrest you and we'll, we will not tell your car. And we will look at everything that you have and write you a ticket and you could go home. So you weigh, you weigh what's the best bet to go. I have a date in the car. Right. This is embarrassing already. No, this is cool. I've been humid. She's going. probably, she's pretty. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> she's like. She took a picture of it. <laughs> she's already yeah. just like. She was on the phone the whole time. Y'all will best not believe ever. this. <laughs> I look like the uh, bad girl. I was going to say. <laughs> I'm dating a gangster. Yeah. Like, uh, Fun life. Oh, to, my to, God. Tattoo. To quickly answer the Jeremy Lee thing, I asked them. I said, do you, do you know, know who I am? I asked them, do you, you know who I am? You didn't say that. No, I did. did oh. I, I said, do you know who I am? Do you have me in your system? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. That's goes, different. That's different. He goes, why? Who do you know? And I mentioned some names. I'm not going to mention them here. Right, right, right. And he confirmed those. He's like, yeah, we know those people. He's like, but we don't have you on our radar. And I said, good. I try to keep it that way. Right, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Um, so did you pop the hood? I popped the hood. What did they see? They, what's, what's on, what, what is the secret they sauce They wrote me for uh, modified emissions, modified exhaust, and they gave me a state ref. Now, if no one knows what a state ref, for anyone that's not a car person. What happened? That was, that was spooky. A, a state ref is basically a notice saying that I cannot drive my vehicle until I get it inspected by a state appointed smog person. Oh, I love that kind of stuff because so, 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 so what, so you had to like leave it there and you walked off with your date. So I had, they, I had to drive my car home and okay. in, in theory, yeah, park the car, park the car until I get it inspected. Right. Now this inspection is an additional 200 to $300. That's what it's all about. Um, and not including the ticket. Yeah. And what a lot of people don't know is you could actually fight the ticket without going to inspection. Because if you're innocent, you're innocent. Right. Mm -hmm. You have the right to be, you know, you have to be proven guilty. Right. Yeah. Um, so anyways, during this pullover, I asked the officers, you know, do you guys feel good about doing this? Because you literally six squad cars, six squad cars for one car that wasn't even with any other cars. I was by myself. Right. Wasn't doing anything. The chief even said, your car looks awfully nice. That's why we kind of pulled you over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So they let me go. I told the officer that arrested me. You could have uh, just looked me up on I, Instagram. I, I know. I, <laughs> I was going to say. I, I told Officer Torres all of this. that yeah. arrested me because her name was Officer Torres. Yeah. Uh, I won't say her first name. <laughs> Um, that was I a said, different date. I said, I'll, I will see you in court. And she said, that's not how this works. Oh. I said, okay. okay. All right. I was like, at this point, for anyone that gets pulled over, don't argue on the street. Oh, yeah, yeah. Argue in the court. Yeah, yeah you know? definitely. Don't, don't, don't fight it on the streets because, like me, you'll lose. Yeah. <laughs> so I went to court, and she decided not to show up. And you walked. And I walked. <laughs> so the whole... But the, the thing about this is but that... But still, that it's how much thing, did it cost you? How much did that walk cost you? That walk cost me in work time. Okay. So in work time and having to worry about having to drive for work. Right. I was actually driving for work. Um, <laughs> that, that walk... You got something? Cost me about, Somebody's got something. Probably see about $800. See, see $800. Bucks. The, most, the most important question in this whole thing. Did you get laid? Did you get a second date? Um, she wasn't my type. <laughs> I, I love her to death. She was not right or She's not. A, you know, we're friends to this day. Okay. Uh, but but, but I, she joined the LAPD we're, right we're, after. We're better to be friends. <laughs> yeah, we're better to be friends. Okay. <laughs> All um, right. But, and, and again, I, I hide my, I guess you could say, I kind of hide my gearhead lifestyle to a lot of people. Is it really that bad out there? I'm being serious. Is it really that bad? 
Like, it's really that bad. So okay. it's hard out there for a pimp. Yes. <laughs> but, oh my God. You know, look, look, I, I, I don't know where everybody else lives, uh, you know, and I'm not saying it like, you know, oh, this is where I live, but there is many an evening where I'll be sitting here and it sounds like, you know, the, the trumpets that are bringing down the walls of whatever, Jerusalem or wherever the heck it was. I mean, it is loud as all get out. And now I don't know if that is a, you know, Honda Accord or Civic or like the, a new Bugatti, but it's like, come on, you, you're making all that kind of noise. And you, so you're telling me all those people are getting pulled over? No. So, um, you know, I, I, I know the show is kind of about talking about what we don't talk about. Right. Um, realistically, you know, and this might get a lot of people in trouble, but they don't like to pull over certain types of tax bracket cars oh so you're so you're saying that if you're driving in the you know in in the bugatti or something like that you're you're you're, you're pretty much untouchable you're kind of untouchable because more than likely you have a lawyer right more than likely well, what about a hellcat a hellcat's kind of a pricey car yeah but you could get a hellcat with probably a 700 credit score <laughs> yeah that's true too that's true too i, I hear you I you hear can't you. walk in the maserati and get that with a 700 no, credit my, score. My, nobody wants a maserati dude this is a car <laughs> show this is a car show this is a car show nobody wants a Maserati. yeah so so they they kind of get a, a get out of jail card because it's more fight than it's worth Really? Also, the other issue is more than likely a person that has a half a million dollar car or even $300,000 car, right. they probably know someone that knows someone in the political atmosphere. So you, so you, think, it, you, so you think it's a, it, it, it's a, it's an, you said atmosphere, but so you, you think it's kind of more of a, we're not going to mess with you because you might know somebody. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. But, but they pulled over Miles Davis in a Ferrari. You know, that, that, that's, that's another story for another time. But, you know, so, okay. So, <clears throat> say old guy Stu wants to build that 68 Camaro that, I, you know, I dreamed about in high school and I want to turn it into my daily driver. Do you think I'm going to be out there getting, you know, pe I'm going to get pulled over? No. Or do you think that the officers know code and they're like, oh, that car is older than 25 years, so he can do this and he can do that? The, the more... They're not really going to go after the classic cars, okay? Because it's harder to so, follow. So, what's, code. so what? So what? What is the target group right now? Target group is going to be probably any late model cars. So I would say anything after two thousand three and up. You know, and then if you're a Honda Civic that has an exhaust, you're definitely got a red target on you. You know what? I how, I, how do you guys? And if you just you're a segue guy, um, one of the questions was how do you guys feel about that? How would we feel about what? Imports, tuners. Oh, you know, look, I, I was just about to, I was just, oddly enough, I was just about to make fun of a Honda Civic. <laughs> but, okay, well, but, but who's the one that asked me I had a Civic? <laughs> <laughs> you know, SGB scanner. Well, that's your opinion. I'm not a that's hater, but I, but I know what, you know what, I know what it is. You know, but see, that, 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 that's kind of the thing. So you're saying that somebody that has a Honda Civic, that they do something to, that, you know, because, and this is, honestly, if you know me, you know me, and if you don't, you don't, but I'm just telling you, I, if, if you've got that kind of passion about anything, I'm, I think it's cool. You know what I mean? I think it's cool. I might not, I might not say I'm going to go out and buy a Honda Civic and lower it and destroy it, but, uh, you know, I, 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 good, good on you, right? good on you but I so again it uh, it kind of falls into what you're saying I don't know if it's the pieces fitting the puzzle or the puzzle fitting the pieces which is kind of the same thing by the way just let you know um is uh is <laughs> and is, there it is, it, is the it, laugh it, right it, it, it's one of those this is the guy that I'm going to pull over because I know he doesn't have he's probably not smart enough, has enough money or knows somebody. So I'm going to, I'm going to get my ticket. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put a little check by my name for the day. And more than likely that car has something that's not supposed to be done with it. I mean, let's be honest. Most Honda Civics don't make noise from factory. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah. So the moment it does make some noise, something's done to it. Right. So obviously, you know, there's the, let's try not to be obvious. Right. Um, but unfortunately, those cars are typically commuter cars. Right. So if there's something done to it, it's obvious. Right. You know, it, it's just 
we're going in a time in the car community where like you almost have to hide what you have. And okay. that's another reason why I created the group called Secret Society. Is that the secret? <laughs> that's, uh, being a secret is, you know, you don't, sometimes you don't want to tell people what you have. True. You know, you don't. Well, even back in the day, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, you know, back in the day when I had my top hat and my horses and my carriage. <laughs> <laughs> and the dinosaurs were walking. And the dinosaurs there. were still walking. <laughs> on. No, I mean, even that, that but see that. That is, that's part of the car culture, you know? It's like you would go, you'd go there and, and you'd play the game, you know? You'd, you, you're like, hey, yeah, here's my 68, here, I'll pop the hood, you know? And back in the day, I had a small block with some headers, very, the only chrome under the hood was the, this was my favorite car, by the way, uh, was, was the air cleaner. And I had a Offenhauser manifold, which back in the day, it was like everybody else was Edelbrock, yeah, right? Edelbrock. So, but, you know, but, but it, it really, truly, it, you know, I'd pop the hood and I'd be like, look, man. And then I'd be, and I'd do, you can't, I, I can't even afford a Holly. I got a Rochester, man. I got a Rochester. And, you know, and, and then we'd go run it and I'm pulling, and yes, I really was pulling 11s, I mean, high 11s. But that's really what that car did, you know. And everybody was just, you know, they were looking for, like, oh, when he got the nitrous, when he got, and, you know, it's like, no, it was just really seriously, a, it, it, there, there was a secret sauce, you know, the car's gone, but, but anyway, but it was, it was an engine that was built, you know, and, and it was, it was, it was a little of both. It was, it was money, and it was also the whole, you want to play the game, and it was the secret, you know, it was, it was a secret. It looked like it was a clean 68. Didn't have a radio in it, you know. Just, but, but it was painted. It was painted. It was white, but it was painted. Did you do the body work on that one too? That one I did not do the body work on. I did. did well, I don't think people know that you know how to do some work. I yes, yes I do. <laughs> I, I have built. I have built some cars in my life by hand. By hand, yes. I, I've not, seen. Not not the not the. Uh, well, I'm gonna not take this, it to a shop. I take it to the shop, and I'm gonna have Bob build it, and I got yeah. this guy building this, but. But yeah, now actually I'm remembering, it's like I, I, I had a guy that actually ground the cam for that car, you know, back in the day. But anyways, let's shift gears. See what I'm doing there? Shifting gears? Yeah. <laughs> car talk? Yeah. Code yeah, words. It's more like just really bad dad jokes. Bad jokes. Yeah, bad jokes. <laughs> so, <laughs> there, was a, there was a question if uh, Jeremy would do the chat with his shirt off. Oh. <laughs> there, there was a bunch of the uh, argument of Jeremy who was here for Jeremy. Yeah, and Both if you were single. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There, yeah, yeah. So, there was, to Jeremy. That. Yeah. So, that, uh, <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy, bring it in. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. And then there was also some talk about what is being drunk there. Oh. Um, oh, uh, not that we have sponsors. Or nope. Yeah, not that we you have sponsors. What? Before you do the sponsors, before you do the sponsors, before you do the sponsors, um, before we showed up today, we went to, uh, when I say we, was was CMR and I. We I wasn't even to, invited. We went to Butcher Bar, <laughs> and it's on Glendale in Echo Park. And uh, amazing place. I don't know when their official opening is. They did a, you know, a secret opening today. And uh, it was, the food was amazing, like beyond amazing. I don't know if you guys are foodies or how foodie foodie you are, but as far as um, jacuterie, everything's from Australia. Um, the, the beef, uh, and when I say everything's from Australia, I'm telling you, the, the beef, the, the, the pork, the sheep, everything is raised by these people and turned into the th stuff we eat, which is like, you don't wanna know how the sausage is made, but believe me, you don't, it doesn't make any difference. Amazing stuff. And it's called Butcher Bar. If you guys uh, are interested, look it up, find it out. And again, they didn't pay us. It was just really nice people. They invited, it, invited us and uh, it was beyond amazing. It sounded amazing. It, it was, and we have it here too. You can have yeah, some, yeah. Um, some later on. If uh, Marcel has any of that left. But, so, Jeremy, um, <laughs> excuse me, sorry. Um, these are all your socials everywhere? Yeah. And do you have a YouTube? I do not have, well, we have a, a Secret Society YouTube. Uh huh. There you go. So, it's called Secret Society Social Club. Right. Um, we haven't really worked on it. You know, we're, we're on almost every social. So, we're on TikTok, we're on X, we're on Threads, we're on Facebook. 
We're on uh, Instagram. <laughs> um, what else is there? X or Twitter? Twitter. You know? Twitter X. X Twitter. TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. yeah so he, he said TikTok. Oh, we're even on uh, on LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Yeah. And the reason why is because we do a lot of work with small business. Right. So you know the whole thing is is making car culture in a better light. Right. So to do that, you have to do actual things for the community. So we do a lot of small business work. Um, we work with the business owners to bring car culture to them and support the business. And then usually we also do about, I want to say, 10 charities a year. There you go. Where we do car shows and we donate to a charity. So the last charity we actually did last weekend, um, and we donated to a, a veterans uh, collaborative. Uh, huh. And they help vets kind of get back on their feet find work, and they also have a, a food kit, a kitchen, where they help uh, provide food and dried goods. Uh, to, and just to, to be clear, you're talking vet as in somebody that served in the service. People that served. Not, not, yeah. not the animals. Not the animals. Not the animals. Not the animals. We care about animals. I, I care about animals, yeah, but, yeah. but you know, the, the veterans Sheep, are suffering a lot pork right now. and beef. I love eating them all. Okay. I mean, uh, I'm, ve- I, I'm not not vegan. I'm vegan. You're not vegan. <laughs> don't, don't lie to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so... Well, okay. So let's shift gears. Where do you shift want to gears. go? I was going to start talking about where where the car culture is going. So if you want my honest opinion on that, and I'll give it. Yes. Um, I think We're all about honesty. I here. think due to the EPA cracking down, the Clean Air Act, the electric car push, the Uber availability, um, I think we might only have maybe another 10 to 15 years of combustion engine car community. Um, I think it's going to kind of switch over to electric cars, right? Uh, which I don't like to see. Uh, I don't mind them, yeah. but it's just not the same type of thrill, not the same type of engagement, the feeling. The feeling might be different, but you come on. You, you... There's nothing like instant torque. That's electric. Yes, but the only thing I would say is, would you rather have a microwave steak or a barbecue steak? I feel you. <laughs> I, I, I feel you and I understand it. Yeah. So, you know... Electric cars, again, that's something that's that's still here, but something that's like right here is this whole V8 thing, okay? So again, this is just me, you know, and you guys can go and Google and try to figure out and understand, and you might be like, Stu, you're all full of caca. But so, you know, I'm, I'm bored, I'm scrolling, and I see these, I see these things, you know, um, five best cars all japanese you know they might they might be you know it might it might not all be toyota but it's all you know it's 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 some form of a toyota they're imports it's they're all imports right and when it, well, let's be clear it's not just you know it's not imports because apparently mercedes is a crap car and bmw is a crap car but a toyota now that's a good car do you know what bmw stands for uh uh Yes, I do, but I don't think the the act the, the fun term. What's the fun term? Broken most weekends. No, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. see, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. It's not true. Like I, I, I've had BMW my share. Like amazing. all of them, I had a Ford found yeah. on road dead. Yeah. Like yeah, <laughs> on road dead. yeah like, I, like I've had them. Yeah. <laughs> like any uh, what any of the. Pontiac? Oh. Uh, we're not doing the Pontiac. I don't think they they're around anymore. Yeah, but there's a there's an acronym. For but that. I like the Ferreros. <laughs> I know the Ferreros get a lot of crap. No, they don't. The Ferrero's a great car. Did you know that Carol Shelby actually went to Pontiac and said, I will build you a car for free, a Fiero for free. I will build you a Shelby Fiero. And they didn't do it? They didn't do it. Oh, they should have done it. Did you also know that Fiero was DeLorean's baby? That was, no, I didn't know DeLorean that. DeLorean brought that into the, into the mix. Supposedly they're bringing back the DeLorean. Yeah, yeah but it's not, it's not that DeLorean. But it is going to be a DeLorean. Yes, they're bringing it back. But also, anyways, but, um, yeah, I just, uh, I have an issue with these, the manipulation. I have an, I have an issue with that. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of jumping gears to find which rabbit hole we want to run down. But then there's also this new one now where Mopar, 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 not building any V8s. They're like, we're not building any V8s. And they were like, hey, we're all we're going to go all electric. And now they're like, ah, you know what? We're building this straight six with a twin turbo. And it has better specs than the V8. And then car people, again, I haven't physically driven one. 
But then the ones that are out there, they're just like, yeah, it doesn't. It's not. It is not the same. Yeah, the numbers on, the, on paper are showing us this, but when you get behind it and you do this, you know, the harder you push isn't the faster you go. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not a fast and furious. It's not a fast and furious where you're on the floor. It's, but it's then slow and furious. It's slow and furious, <laughs> yeah. You know? And, but see, so you, you got that. You, you, so Mopar comes out basically it was like you know the, the the crap they were the they were the, the you know they were part of the big three but they were just like we're just going to kind of you know we feel bad for you so we're going to let you come with us right and then all of a sudden they make this big comeback and then they shoot themselves in the foot they destroy their market i don't think it's them uh -huh. it's epa <laughs> it's epa and the push from the clean air act but why are they, okay, I, I, I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you, but there's, but there's more, okay? So Chevy kind of playing the game, right? Yep. Chevy's the same way. They're like, yep. oh, we're going to get rid of all, we got all electric. And all. Okay, great. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not anti-electric. But what about Ford? What about Ford? S Ford. Basically said, F you, we're still building these V8s. Well, Ford originally had the first electric car. Yes, they did. I, 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 but, but right now... They're like, we're not playing. They shouldn't. We're not playing. And then also, I should have done my research before we went live, but they also were that, was that weird thing when everybody else went bankrupt, mysteriously, right before the big turn in the, in the economy, they pulled out that big loan, and they were the only ones that were, that were still, still floating. So it's like, so Ford has got some sort of secret in. They got some uncle that's, you know, something where, where they don't have to play. Maybe Ford is taking a stance where we could let everyone play the game. Let's not play the game, and we're going to jump up in the market. But, but see, this is what I'm saying. It's like, what, what executive, and yes, I can kind of picture this executive in my mind. <laughs> what executive at Mopar is like, hey, look, we went from crap to this, and now we want to go back to crap again? Same person that messed up with Bud Light. <laughs> hot topic. Yeah, it's a hot topic. There's no doubt. But, but, but you got you to kind of wonder because it's like, who makes, who makes such a bad decision and, and gets away with it? I mean, there's, there's, we've seen in our, recently, let's just talk these last four years, how many big corporations have made the worst decisions based on the consumer? A lot. It's been very popular. Well, you know, that, that's an argument for car culture that I, I've had all my life. It's like, you know, in, in back in, in the 80s, there weren't 70s, 70s kind of fell off. And I think that's where it started. Back then, I think things took longer to happen. And in the 80s, we were suffering because I was always feeling like they were doing those surveys like, you know, like, hey, hey, Mrs. and Mrs. Smith, fill this out. What kind of car do you want? I want something that's roomy and I get yeah. good gas mileage. And, and so they were building these cars that nobody wanted because mm -hmm. they, you know, they were roomy with good gas mileage, but they were POSs because they didn't have any kind of research and development behind yeah. them. Yeah. And or they just were, they, you know, they, they were they were. They were building what the consumer wanted, but they realized the consumer didn't know what they wanted. And you think that's still going on today? Oh, yeah. I mean, the, right now we're in a time where, you know, being uh, intact with your consumer is very important. But uh, <laughs> it is. It is. It is. But, but again, this is the thing. It's like, who is choosing the consumer? When was the last time you filled out a survey? Never. When was the last time you filled out never, a survey? Never. I yeah. just did one right now. <laughs> <laughs> was it on the show? Yeah. <laughs> did we get four stars? No. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Um, you know, good point. Good question. But I, I really think there's outside forces pulling the strings oh, right yeah. now. Oh, yeah. That's where I'm going with all yeah, this. It's know? like, what is going on? You know, because they don't, I mean... They're talking taking electric. They're ta talking getting rid of gas cars by twenty thirty two, right? Twenty thirty two. 
how is this, this isn't even possible. The last heat wave we had, we had power outages everywhere. Right. I had a buddy that works for DWP. You know, I, can't, I don't want to say how he's, how, I don't want to say which department, um, but he told me that, he, you know, in the areas that had high traffic of electric vehicles right. in, in the area, the transformers were boiling. The wires were getting so hot, they were boiling over. But see, okay, I mean, and I get it too. And, and look, I got to be really clear about, the, well, not that anybody cares about my opinion, so maybe I don't have to be that clear, but I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't personally, I don't have a personal, I don't have a dog in this fight, right? I don't either. I think that electric cars are wonderful and I am all about the future and I'm all about, I really am all about green energy and I understand that the, the perfect world is you're going to have this solar panel on your roof and it's going to charge your car and take care of your home. But I understand also that there's this huge infrastructure that needs some money to stay alive. So where are they, where's, you know, who's, how are we doing all these things and making all this going to happen and, and staying with cars that we can drive? So, so th this is where, you know, you almost have to think is someone playing chess way ahead of us because the average person right now can't afford an electric car. I can't afford an electric car. I can't afford them. I, yeah. I put a down payment for the Model 3 when it was not even, you know, when they said, hey, put in your money. Right. The moment that car came out, it was $60,000. I think it was seventy five fully loaded. That car was way more expensive than Mr. Musk said it was going to be. Wait, 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 wait. Marcel? Fact check. Marcel, fact check. Yeah. Model 3, 60K? I think the Y was 60K. The Y was 60K. But you could get the Model 3 Plaid. There was some options you could get that was 60K. His whole, his whole deal was under sub 50K was the Model S. And, and, I, and I remember, I'm not, I'm not calling you on the carpet, no, but I also fine. remember I had a friend of mine that was a mechanic, an air, a helicopter mechanic, so you know he was broke as fuck, <laughs> and, and he bought a Tesla, and with the trade-in, and this and that and the other, I mean, he only, I think he paid less than 30 k for it. So the, I, I missed the tax incentive. Okay. So I didn't get the, the $10,000 off. All right. Uh, I ended up canceling the car. Right. And said, there's no way. You should have sold your spot. I, I didn't think about that. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, like, the average person today can't afford an electric car. No, I agree. They don't have the, the charging ability, right. you know, because you just can't plug it into a 110 and call it, call it quits, mm -hmm. you know. And then not only that, it's the travel. Travel you know, time. Travel that, that, time is a thing. That, that is where, that's where things are, you know, because I mean, I say it all the time. I, I, I'm longing for the day where I get off of work and get into my electric Cadillac and, and, say, and say, take me home, play some YouTube, you know, longest route or shortest route or whatever, and just kind of sit there and enjoy myself. Not, not, not like that. Not like that. I mean, there's people that do it in the S's. They don't, they don't have it drive it all the way home, but you see them falling asleep on the, free, the freeway just letting, them, letting the car but, drive. But it's also, it's like you said, it's like we, we don't have the battery power yet. I, no. saw, I saw something, um, I, I'm, I'm realizing that this is becoming like way like buddy talk, but I, I saw something on the internet where they were coming up with this idea for batteries. Like literally like, you know, this, you know, I'm, I'm sure they weigh a lot. That's probably going to be something that they got to think about too. But instead of going and charging, you pull up and you like pull the battery out, drop it into the charger. Then it gives you another one and you put it in and you can, you know, you can go. You know, I, I, I think that that's viable. There's but a place in Asia that's doing that with a certain car. See, there oh, you go. That's not there a bad go. idea. Right. But ha I know some states are proposing that they might start charging an extra tax for electric cars. Yeah, because, because they weigh so much and they're degrading the roads oh, faster. Right. They're actually degrading the concrete a little bit faster. Oh, I can see that. Because of the weight. Yeah. So there's just a lot that, you know, again, people making decisions without thinking of the big picture. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's getting us in trouble with not just car culture, but society. You know, we have people that are making rules for things that they're not even going to be around for. Yeah. That's a problem. We need to get more intact with our timeline and our abilities and our technology. We need to have real conversations, whether you want to hear them or not. And that is what's going to propel us, not only as a society, but as a culture. Right. You know, because right now, everyone's kind of running around like a chicken with their head cut off. 
Exactly. There's no unity. Everyone wants to argue red or blue or white or black and, and black. <laughs> all types of colors. <laughs> right. You know, when really at the end of the day, when you're here, we're American. Yeah. We should have the best interest for Us. American and and our fellow man. Because yeah. that's what we're it's, what it's about. Yeah. You know, and people are forgetting those basic values. See, I, and, and between, again, it's, it's the show, and, and I, it is really how I feel. I feel that genuinely more people than not are on that page. More people than not really do care about the fellow man and, and try to look at the big picture. I don't know if they do, but somehow... It seems like the louder or the or somebody else kind of comes in and they skew everything gets skewed, you know. And and it isn't it isn't about what's best for everybody. It's you know all of a sudden it's what's best for this group that wants it now, and and then we we get into this weird thing where it's us and them and then and 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 you're right somewhere along the line America is be, is becoming divided and again. It is with even with the car culture because you have people out there that are like literally you, you see them they you know the oh no gas and we're gonna block the roads and all this kind of crazy and it's like what what what, are you, what is your thinking you and know, I want it's like you it's like I really I don't want to but I, I would love to sit down with somebody like that here and say explain it to me because I want I do I want to know what you're seeing that I'm not. The economy, just the economy, if you get rid of gas cars, let's say you just stopped it. Right. The economy that you're going to destroy, you're going to kill mom and pop mechanic shops. Most mechanic shops are not corporately owned. Oh, yeah. I could probably say maybe comfortably 85% are mom and pop. Right. Small business owners, parts stores, parts manufacturers, all these things have a but trickle they down switch effect. switch over to electric? Here's okay. So let's just say you switch over to electric. Now you have transportation issues of getting supplies to certain areas with deadlines and certain availabilities. When they made that electric Hummer, it got stranded in the in a in a in a run somewhere. I, I love. I like. It's cool. It looks cool. Don't get me wrong. It does the crab walk. It's really cool. But when it got stranded because they couldn't charge it, you know what they had to send in to get it? A gas car. Oh, I thought a helicopter. <laughs> they had to send a gas car. <laughs> so we just we we have, you know, we have these issues of, of you know, realistic uses. Right. You know, the other thing is that, and if people don't mind, it's fine. But I kind of mind. With most of these electric cars, you're being tracked. 20, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty-four-seven. Yeah, no. I, I agree. Everywhere you drive, yeah. everywhere you stop, you anything know, you do, the music you probably play. They know what, what you're doing in that car. Yeah. But see, you know, I, 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 this is where it gets a little weird with me. Personally, don't care. Well, because you're not, you're not doing anything bad. Well, even if I was. Who says I'm not doing anything bad? I'm, I'm a bad boy. But, but, okay. I'm a bad boy. Okay. Let's just say. Let's just say I, I you can tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm not. You know, somebody's going to be like, really, Stu? You're gonna, but I can tell you there is not one day I drive to work where I drive the speed limit. Okay, right. so imagine you get a ticket now sent to your house because you broke oh, the Oh, no, I'm not going to be happy about it. I'm not saying that they should do that. And I also know that they've been talking about stuff like that where they're saying, like, they want to put in the, the speed cameras yeah, the speed. like they have in Europe where it's like, you know, because you passed this point and you got to this point and the time was too quick, we're going to send you a ticket. We're going to send you a ticket. I yeah. don't think, I, again, no, that, that, that is where you're not being American. Yeah, that's where we're going too far. That's where you're not being, that, that is not American. You know, and the people that want that kind of crazy, you know, to in my in my mind, you know, it's like, no, we're not Europe. We are America, period. That's it. What was the one Anthony Weiner? I love that guy's name. He, he, he just he just came up with some. Um, oh, he wants to make the car so you, they can't speed. Oh, so you can't speed. Right. Yeah. At all. Yeah. 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 They stop at 65. Yeah. Or whatever it is. Okay, yeah. Well, then that means that your job will be kind of fucked up. <laughs> right, exactly. You know, until you get like the the reporter that yeah. we were just talking about, uh, that I believe Moy just also mentioned, where the reporter's Tesla got stolen. Yes, and then it went into a chase, but yep. then it died. So that eliminates two jobs. Right, <laughs> but but yeah, and, and again, going to say his name, Wiener. 
wants to uh, wants to limit our speed. I don't even know if that bill passed. I uh, I, I, hope it, it, I, I don't think it, it passed. Yeah. It, 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 no. Because you know They're that's the other thing too. It. it probably had all this other crap attached to it also because that that is how it, that is how they play the game and it's not the secret society. It is a secret society, but it's not our secret society. It's not the one for the people. Right. It's not the one right. for the people. And and I my group was created for to, the people. For for the, for the people. Right. To bring people together, have these hard conversations, right. and do something about it, even if it's on a micro scale. Yeah, because excellent. sooner or later, that micro scale turns into a bigger picture. Copy. All right, little 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 side notes. Let's do some little side notes. Little, little side stew, drift. Little little stew. Uh, little <laughs> stew pet peeves. I'm going to throw this one out here. My 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 cast is not no does not know about this. I got my hat sideways. Do I, am I looking good? I'm looking good. Um, <laughs> So, Tiger Towers, one of my favorite places in California, in Los Angeles. Now they're talking about $4.1 million. Did you know about this? No. I'm, I'm looking at your eyes. No. $4.1 <laughs> million dollars to get the graffiti off the building. Yes, exactly. And I'm thinking to myself, who is thinking that that's a good idea? Who, you, you, Marcel thinks that's a good idea? No, okay. It's like, really? So, so again, you know, we're talking about these people that are running our society, or, you know, for us, and they come up with, this is what they came up with. We're going to spend, we spent a million dollars on a fence. I would love to have been the brother that got that contract. It was a million dollars for that fence? Yeah, million, that fence. Million, um, it, okay, didn't the other fence look better? Um, I, I felt like the other fence... Even though they got in through the other fence, I feel like the other fence looked better looked and better. was better. Yeah, it was better. And so they, they've spent a million dollars on a fence. That, that was, that was <laughs> De Leon. De Leon? The, anyway, council member. De, which, is, again, is one of these guys that, on a personal thing, I don't think I'd get along with him. You know what I mean? I, I, don't, think, <laughs> I don't think he and I would be like, hey, bro, what's happening? And then when that whatever happened... It, it, there he was the one that was like i'm not i'm not gonna resign i'm not gonna resign oh Remember he was that? he was that one he, yeah he was he's that guy he got caught saying got, some racial yeah, slurs something racist yeah and, yeah and, 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 and this is the thing it's like even when that was going on i was like my boy because you know everybody's gonna forget about this you know what i mean and they did and now he goes out and he spends a million dollars on a fence which you know it was like his cousin's, you know, company or something. There's something. There's got to be. Yeah. Right. Okay. Someone's friend. Right. Yeah. And now they were. Now they're saying four point one million dollars to remove the graffiti. Anyway, everybody's like, okay, Stu, we get it. You don't like what's going on. And a lot of, a lot of, a lot of pork. A lot of pork. And it's not the good Australian kind that you're eating over there at Butcher Bar. Why are they not spending this money to sell that building? Why are they Agreed. not spending this, spending this money? To get a get a you know what Sp do the pork give it to your buddies you know but get a get a group together go get what was his name the guy that was running for for mayor that didn't get it God what is his name Caruso, Caruso. yes Caruso, okay. Caruso. The, the, right. yes I you like him <laughs> he, he he why is he not stepping in and saying you know what guys. I got this. I'm going to put together a group. We're going to finish this building. Why isn't the city saying, you know what? We're not going to spend $4 million to remove graffiti. We're going to spend $4 million and not hinder whoever buys this, you know, by miring them up in red tape and just say, get in here, get you guys working. Let's get this thing built. Let's get these buildings filled. Let's get this tax dollars rolling in. Yeah. Why is that not happening? Can, can, can someone fact check who owns that building? Nobody. So I believe the uh, well, bank yeah, says the I, bank or somebody was yeah. it a holding yeah. company based in yes. another country? Yeah, which no, country? No, is no, it? no, I believe no, it's China. It was China. It was okay. China, but I'm sure they defaulted. Okay, okay. They completely defaulted. So hear me out. All right. If you if you go start a business in China, they could take it from you without asking. Okay. Why don't we just do the same? Exactly. It's, a, it's because we're too worried about TikTok. <laughs> And, and, and we're not on TikTok, so we're not worried about it. Yeah, yeah. But the you know, it's too like worried about TikTok. we need to just that, be. That's a whole nother Oprah. We that, need to be like even Steven, well. you know. <laughs> no, you know, I, I, I kind of miss the days where, <laughs> and and I don't feel, <laughs> I don't feel this way with you, but I miss the days where we weren't afraid to say what it is. Right. We, we weren't afraid to just be like, you know what? 
don't worry about it. We're just going to take your building. Really? Yep. We're going to take your building right. and we're going to put it to use. Right. We're not going to go through all the the courts and pay the court system. Let's, and pay. You know what? Let's use eminent domain right. in, in, a a domain in a positive way. In a positive way. Right, in a positive way. Either that or just, you know, for $4 million, <laughs> I think you could just level it and you could sell it to somebody no, else. No, no. There we, you go. Agreed. Probably. But but we have <laughs> we know that there's... I think the tagging looks awesome. I like the tagging. You know I like I the like tagging. I like the first round of the tagging. The tagging after the yeah, tagging. Yeah, the tag, the second tag. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, 100%. Yeah. But we have a housing issue. No, 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 right? no, right? no, no, right? no, 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 we're not, we're not putting homeless people in that Jeremy, building. We're, we're, not, not, we're not, you know, and this is the thing. You're going to have this to come back thing. for an episode, this is the too. Thing. Somebody would, would, will come up and say that in one of those meetings, and everybody's going to be like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. No, no, I, I'm because not. Because it's the right thing to do. I don't even want homeless people, but no. let's just make it so that normal people can move in. Hey, I, yeah. I'm a normal just person. Just normal people. Exactly. You know, and here's, okay, so now we're going into, the, like, we should also have it under a little bit of rent control. If we're going to take over that building, we yeah, should make it a little exactly. bit rent control. Exactly. I have professional upstairs neighbors that I would really like to move away from. Yeah. I yeah. swear to God, they bowl. They got a puppy. Like it's it's everything that's going on upstairs. It, it's all kind of shit. They're bowling with the puppy. I, I, okay. Puppy bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know when they start vacuuming the floor. Well, they got and all the then, stuff floor everywhere. Right, the exactly. Floor. They got a puppy they got a couple weeks everywhere. ago, See, and I, they run back and forth with this puppy. I grew up in like, suburbia, so. I'm pretty sure, right, yeah. Like, I'm not used to somebody that. Somebody upstairs has shin splints. I am convinced. Because <laughs> there's no way in hell you walk in that damn hard, and you're... You're not damaging yourself. Yeah, some people. There's no they, way. They, they just stop. Anyway, they, they, yes, they stop we need to everywhere. create some affordable just housing. Just affordable housing <laughs> for normal people, you know? I don't, you know, look, I, it, 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 it kind of goes back to that whole thing again, too. It's, I, I don't know. I think, I mean, everything's expensive. There's yes. no doubt about that. You know, sat down today. We had burgers and fries. But seven, look where we live. 30 bucks. Starbucks, Starbucks. I love the Starbucks. I went to Starbucks today. I got two drinks, ten, ten something, twelve dollars. Yeah, Los Angeles is ludicrous on the price. Twelve dollars. Yeah. You know, fifteen dollars for a burger is. You know, Starbucks is uh, Starbucks is the same price in Bangkok than here too. It's the same price. There you go. So you can't feel too bad. They 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 control who comes in there though, don't they? Uh, So in Bangkok, you have to get. You just can't walk right in. Right, exactly. You have to go through uh, immigration. A credit check. Uh, you have to, no, no. So, and so here, so I will tell you, in Bangkok, you have to have your exit date set, and they have to confirm it. Okay. So you can't just walk in and not not have an exit date, and they also want to know where you're staying. And we're not talking about Starbucks. We're talking about we're yeah, talking actual about the, country. the country. You know, and, and this is the thing too. Look, look, and, and this is I, I this is what makes I think makes me an American. I am all about come to America, mm-hmm. be American. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't. We don't need that. We don't. We don't need this. When are you coming? When are you going? I'm being serious. Uh, but you know, the, the, we're not. We're not even going to get into that whole other side of that coin. It's but, a big but, coin. But, yeah, it's a big coin. It's a couple million co- people coin. You keep looking at me as if I'm laughing at what you're saying. I'm not. They're you're just, not They're no, funny no, in the I'm chat. Not, I'm they're the, funny I'm in the chat right now. <laughs> I'm just staring in the room. Just staring in the room. Yeah. No. You keep thinking I'm reacting to your jokes. No, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just the waiting. The dad jokes aren't doing it. <laughs> no, they're just not. Waiting. The dad jokes aren't doing it. <laughs> I'm waiting for the, for the men in black to start showing no, up. No, it's the chat. We're talking about it's the, the aliens. Chat. We're talking, we're about, talking, we're talking aliens about apartment still. living in our, in our first cars, in our favorite cars. That Like, like I'm reading. My first car I, was I a know 1968 I should... Cougar. Jeremy? 2003 Honda Civic. That was your first car? First car. After you talking about trash and Civics? No, he liked the Civic. I didn't like the Civic. But I've I've experienced, so I call it the enthusiast tax. Okay. I've been pulled over more than extremities that I have. (laughs) Dude, I... What was my first car? It was a... Oh, gosh. It was an Isuzu iMark. Isuzu? It was a Isuzu iMark. It had no radio. 
Unless you hit a speed bump, and then sometimes it would just come on for like a split second. You should have had a car guy for right. your boyfriend. Um, there was no AC. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> there was no air conditioning, but the heat worked like a motherfucker. Mm. Like the heat was Because it was whatever. overheating all the time. It, it, but no, it didn't. It didn't overheat. <laughs> this was in Atlanta? This was in Atlanta. So you needed the heat out there. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah you needed the heat a lot. And there was a leak in the <laughs> trunk. There was a leak in the trunk, and... Like whenever you turn, you could just hear water slosh in the trunk. Nice. Marcel, what was your first yeah. car? Cadillac. Nice, Cadillac. <laughs> and nice. Cadillac. That's not, that's, are you L.A. Was born like and a, raised? Yeah. L.A. born and raised what, Cadillac. What, what, what was that little one back in the day that was like the, the Cimarron? The Cadillac no, Cimarron. No, no, was it a Cimarron? No, Coupeville. Oh, nice. nice. Hey, Dang. there we go. <laughs> Dang. So you grew up in East L.A.? I grew up in Compton. Dang, see? Yeah. How, how it is just it, getting better and better. How is it that we know, you know? It's like. We, we car guys, we could yeah. smell where you're coming from that by was, your car. I think that was the last of my most interesting car because I just needed a car. That right. was like my first car, and I couldn't get credit because I didn't have credit, and so it was a buy here, pay here. And then after that, my brother got tired of fixing that car for me, and he came home on leave and was like, "We're buying you another car this weekend." Call the credit union, see what you can get, and I was Fox style Mustang, Twi- Fox body Mustang, nice, five liter, yes, nice, red. You're yeah. a baddie. Oh my god, baddie. I couldn't even <laughs> like. <laughs> I would. He didn't even let me drive it home. Cause he didn't want you to have all the guys chasing you. Oh, but like, <laughs> but he was the one that taught me how to drive a stick. And it was stick too. Oh yes, sir. Oh man. Oh okay. Like I told you, I didn't Jeez. tell you that yeah. my brother. And, and you know what? I don't know what it was, but I'm just telling you from that general area, five speed. What year was it? Eighty eight. It was an eighty eight. It was a Borg Warner. It was a Borg Warner T five. That was the that was the the, the transmission. Did you so, have the spoiler in the back? Oh, of, of course. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, it was a 5.0 uh, GT red. Oh, it was spoiler, red too. 88, and it had those like horrible to clean wheels. Um, yes, they are the horrible. The turbines. Yeah, they're horrible. And uh, oh, my brother, like he wanted a little brother, but then he got me. Like, and so I have like a middle sister. So I was raised like. I, I think I mentioned it to you, like, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, painting white letters on tires. On tires. And whatnot. Yes, exactly. So I didn't even get to drive that car home the first time. Wow. Do you I know? bought it. He test drove it for me. Um, scared the shit out of the salesperson. Because we he were just like, they like to get sideways. Yeah, we, yeah, we were like, like little, peeling out of the was, was guy in it. He was, he was being the big bro. Drove it home. And like, I... It was great. I love that car. What Waffle House did you visit with that car? Oh, what Waffle House? Oh, all of them. And you probably parked it like right outside so you could look at it. Oh, like, and then there's like, you know, there's Atlanta rules. Like, you're going to back your car in. Nice. I was the girl that like would back the car in. I mean, because I had a 5.0. See, I just, I don't want them to get rid of that culture. You know, that's like, imagine like you're like, oh, I I did that to my Tesla. I, 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 it's just not the same. No, I, I, agree. I, agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Like you just, you just. Like I want a Tesla, but I'm just like, can I just like change the little spaceship sound? You know, that's uh, and and it's, for me, it's not even just about car culture. It's like all the little things that just make people smile. They're going after. It's like, oh, we got to change it. Why? Right. It's like this brings smiles to people. Like. You know, I don't want to be a depressed nation. I, 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 I have a, but again, it's like, it, it, I always ask that too. It's like, what's, what's the point? What's the big picture? What is it that we're not seeing that somebody, like you said, somebody's playing chess, right? Well, what are they trying to, what are they trying to, wh- where, where are we, where do they want to take us? And why can't they say, this is where we want to be? Like back in the sixties, you know, the leaders would say, we want to be here. We're here. We want to be here. Now we're not saying that anymore. Now they're just saying, we want to change this. We don't want this. We won't want, and it's no, there's no why. There's no, there's no destination. So, um, when I was in the 90s, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to don't, don't tell them, they're going to find out. No, no, no. In the <laughs> 90s, I, wanted, I, was, I was venturing to do a show about car culture, right? And I had a uh, Pontiac Bonneville SSE. And uh, it was that, that, the two, like that green that changed colors. And it, was, it wasn't the Mystic. It was the Pontiac, whatever it was. It was like bluish green. 
and uh, took it to uh, the old the old haunts with me and my friends, and we wound up somewhere over in Chatsworth, and there was this Honda Civic, and he wanted to race me. Oh, and and I was and he was just like, oh, you got this and you got that, and I'm like, dude, this is I. Bought this from Keys Motors. You know what I mean? It's like it's a it's keys, it's a keys, yeah keys, keys on that on eyes. It's not even the supercharge. It's just the six. It was like whatever that 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 was amazing power plant that that Pontiac had back in the day. They put them in the Pontiac six thousands. I just saw something somewhere at a car crusher thing where they were just like, yeah, we got this Pontiac man. That Pontiac six thousand from like ninety something or eighty something. That thing was an amazing car. Anyway, same power plant was powering the Bonneville at the time, and um, and I, I, I raced them. I, I it, it destroyed them. Just destroy. This is a Pontiac, you know, four door. You know, it was nothing. And this guy was, ing, 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 ing. <laughs> you know, and it was like they, they did the go. <laughs> they did the go, and I was, and I, 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 I'm telling you the truth. I was like. Maybe I just don't know. Maybe I'm going to be like embarrassed, but who cares? You know, I'm having fun, right? And I just and the front wheels were spinning, and I and I started going, and he's like, nee, nee, nee. <laughs> you know, and it was just like I was just like, this is insane. My mom had a um, '79 Magnum. Do you remember the Magnum? Oh, I love that. that. Car. Okay, so yeah. my mom had a '79 Magnum that my brother used to take out and just run quarter miles with. Nice. <laughs> well, I mean, there was a 440 in there. <laughs> yes, it did. I nice. it was an old school or It could have been a 340, but yeah. We had that car long enough that... 388. I, we drove it, actually, that car made it from Atlanta out to uh, Oceanside. Wow. And... In, 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 in a time frame. They, they did a gumball rally. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> It had a chink in the um, in the wheel, so every now and then, as you're like driving, if it if it stopped it on it, then it would just like rattle. And so my brother, because I would drive that car, he was like, "Okay, so whenever it has that happen, you're just gonna have to turn the wheel, like just pull up on the belt." And I was like, like "She's talking about the starter. You're yeah. talking about the starter. Yes. Yeah. Starter. yeah. Okay. So." But I'd have to pull the belt to turn the to turn to the, turn the flywheel. Yeah, to turn the flywheel. Yeah, the flywheel. Of teeth the, on, yes, on the, flywheel. On the flywheel. So he was like, "You're going to have to pull up on it yeah. to turn it, and then it'll be able to catch." To engage. Right. And so this is I'm what engage. 17, 18, like 120. And so he was like, "All right." <laughs> he was like, "You're going to have to stand up on the bumper to oh, do this geez. for leverage." Yeah. And it happened like one afternoon, like after school, and it's like, and it's just like rattling. Right? I'm sorry, I'm taking over. No, you're so, fine. But, <laughs> but yes, and so you know, the guys want to come over and like, oh, we can help you. We can and I was help like, you. Yeah, and I was like, no, I kind of got it or whatever. So and back in the day, they probably would have been able to, but nowadays they probably have no clue. Some guys don't have tires. But then, also, money on but it then back in no the clue. day, just like today, I was just no. like, fuck it, y'all. Yeah. Like, no, I got no, it. No, like, no. So I got up on the thing and, like, yanked up on it. And I think I probably, like, ended up with a couple of crushes that day because it was just like, holy shit. Because I then hopped out, started it up. Yeah, left. yeah. And it was like, because it's like, okay. Mm. There's a girl, like, popping the hood and, like, pulling up on the. They're probably like, yeah, she can. You're right, though. Now, some guys don't even know how to do their spare. No, they, they don't. don't. They don't. They don't. Like, and and they don't. to me, it's like, so you want to be stranded in the middle of nowhere for hours? Because yeah. AAA is never an hour. And, yeah. that's, and that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, AAA. Right. Um, <laughs> anyway. Do we, have, do we have any pursuits? Do we have any I breaking believe we news? Have a pursuit. <laughs> we have some breaking news. news. Breaking news. You know, I do. <laughs> getting to that, I actually want to ask you something about okay. that. Has there ever, we have a question. Has there ever been a pursuit? where you saw the car and the officer and you're like, that car could probably get away. Never. Never. No. Law enforcement is never going to lose. And the cops are, they, they're solid. They're solid. You or at least give them a run for their money. They all give them a run for their money. But no, I, 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 but I'm, just, I'm being a little sarcastic. Now, I have yet to be, no, that... Because I want, also but, wanted to know, is there ever a pursuit that started and you're like, oh, this will be over soon because of the car that they were driving? True. Not necessarily because of the driver, but just the car. You were like, nah. Not going to happen, That's not going to make it. Like, I, that's I, a actually, geometric. I actually have the opposite. <laughs> right. like, I actually have the opposite story. I have a, um, 
uh, the, the one that's coming to mind was a PT Cruiser. And okay. I heard that the vehicle was a PT Cruiser. And I was just like, PT Cruiser, oh my God. It's a little like turbocharged. <laughs> this thing was amazing. <laughs> I was like watching this and I was just like, this is the best PT Cruiser I've ever seen. <laughs> this thing is like, you know, I was expecting them like to pop the hood and there'd be like this big, you know, big V8 Mopar under there. Or You're like, is this a movie? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's like, what is this alternate universe or, you know, or did the cop cars all have four cylinders? I have no <laughs> idea what's going on here. But yeah, there was a PT Cruiser and they actually crashed it, which I was thinking to myself, that was an amazing car and it's now it's gone. Now it's gone. Oh, uh, the blue it's wide. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, nobody's nobody's going to be like, oh, you got to save the PT Cruiser. Let's no. Get <laughs> you know, but, but you know, I, I, I've, had, I've had some chases where we in the helicopter, I was doing it, but I don't think we ever got to them. You know what I mean? I don't think we ever really got to. It was never like a Hellcat. You know, I saw. Okay. I just saw one from um, some other station. Uh, I don't even know what they're called. Uh, ABC or something like that. <laughs> and uh, and they had somebody was playing one of the chases, and it was a Corvette. And whoever was talking was talking like he knows about Corvettes. I know about. I think it. I saw that one. I know. If this is a Z07. You know, this is going to be a really fast car. <laughs> they don't make Z07s. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, okay, all right. But anyway, yeah, that was that was that was the only one. No, I, I really haven't. I, haven't. <laughs> I, I like I like the matchup though. I like the idea. I like watching it. You know, I, I was really excited when uh, when Mopar came into the, the the California Highway Patrol barn but they're all v6s you know that right no yeah they're but v6s. they have they don't have a governor <clears throat> yeah they, they take off the they take off the governor and if no one knows what a governor is that's the speed limiter limit oh it's not the english guy like hey governor yeah <laughs> i have a funny story about that pursuit. but i pursuit pursuit let's do some pursuit footage i feel it i'm feeling pursuity wait a minute those are horses. That's two horsepower. Hey, this is not even a helicopter. <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> we're in a traffic we're, cam. We're, we're, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel. Look at that. Somebody's stake is running around on the freeway right there. Uh, here we go with the dad jokes. Yeah, there we go. Everybody's stopping. Look at that. Oh, look at the ponies. Mustangs. They're Mustangs. <laughs> oh. oh. Marcel coming in. We from were talking. Yeah, we were talking Mustangs. How many horsepowers out there, kids? <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> Two horsepower. I don't know. Where, where, where are the cops at? I, I, I get it. Their horse is running around. I get it. This is kind of cool. Where, are the cops going to show up and start wrangling? That must be me on the camera. I, was, I wasn't going to say that. I wasn't going to say that. I wasn't going to Spend most of my days drunk, so. It's like, <laughs> I, I don't even know how he's doing that. It's like, it, it's hurting my eyes. It's really hurting my eyes. Oh, there's the cops. They're the cops. There we go. There we go. There we go. What are you, you going to do? You know how big that thing is? Have you ever been up next to a horse? Oh, you did a good job there, buddy. All right. They, they're, at least they're not on the roadway. Where are we? Columbus. Toledo. Cleveland, oh, Ohio. 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 Oh. In the middle of the road, oh, cops are going up behind him. I, I dig it that that Caltrans is is doing this, or what? That's not Caltrans. What would it be? I Trans? Oh, I Trans. Oh, I Trans. <laughs> oh, I. Oh, I. Oh, Trans. All right, all right. Let's get on that extender. Let's get on that extender there. <laughs> Keep it going. There we go. I mean, really. I, that's I, the biggest thing they did at that job that day. It, forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> they're they're, still, they're, they're gonna still be, talking. About they're probably it. still, yeah, I was going to say, somebody's going to be getting that gold watch in 50 years, and they'll be like, hey, weren't you the camera operator for those, those are some, horses? Those are some big horses. So, yeah, those yeah, are like are. Clydesdales or something. They're beautiful. And I don't get it. It's like they, they oh, I guess they're running because the cops are behind them. There we go. There we go. <laughs> wonder what. wonder what the... I wonder what the warrants are for them. What, I wonder what you're hiding in the barn. I have a joke, That's but it. I don't I mean, want to. Please do it. <laughs> no. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Jeremy knows it. What is it? I don't want What is it? They're and black and brown. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> they wouldn't have 
have let the white horse go. No. <laughs> no, no, they wouldn't. They're black and brown, but they they did no. split up. They split up. They no. were like, we'll be better off. Surprised they didn't. No. Surprised they didn't hop the fence. No. <laughs> All right, we got an actual pursuit. Okay, actual pursuit. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, let's let's get into play here. All right, here we go. I don't know where this is from. I was gonna say, it doesn't look like one of ours. Definitely the camera work. Houston, we're, we're, Texas. We're, we're, not, we're not going to talk about the camera work. Okay, we're, we're, well, we're in, a, in some sort of shopping center. Don't know what time it is, but I venture to say nobody's there. Oh, got, got close. Can we zoom in a little bit? Zoom in the other, the, the rocker. The right, where are you going? You're going the wrong way. Push in. We want to see the Houston, car. Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Oh, my God. Somebody out there in that camera has got to, what is with the wide shot? Come on. <laughs> I don't even know which one is the car. Which one are they chasing? Oh, there it is. Okay, all right. All right, all right. Oh, whoa, look at that. Man, that thing took off. What was that? Go, go, Jeremy? gadgets. It's Anybody? a smoke screen. I, I, what is, he's got to have a flat. He's got to have a flat tire. Got to have a flat tire. Or it's Houston dirt. Sky Eye. Sky Eye 13. Oh, my gosh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Up, 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 up. Going around there. Getting close, getting close. Come on, I want, I want to pitch you. I want to pitch you. Come on, come on. What is, what is the southern accent? Up, making that turn, cutting everybody off so everybody can see me showboating. There you go, another ticket. It's a Dodge. Yeah, I was going to say, it is a Mopar, right? Yep. Mopar, we're right. on that. <laughs> there we go. So what do you think there, Jeremy? Do you think that's a V6? And, 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 I bet you it's a V6. And what do they got in those Explorers? Do you think they got the V8 in that Explorer? Is that a police special? I think, I think they have a six-cylinder in this guy. This guy is kind of... He's, he's moving. He's moving. There he goes. He took the opportunity. Making that you you could have you had him. Oh, he could have paid him. Yeah, yeah. He here he comes, comes. Here comes. Here comes. Here comes. Oh, that rearview mirror foiled him again. <laughs> here we go. Come on, open it up. Objects are closer. What objects are closer <laughs> than they appear? <laughs> you got Toretto behind the wheel there. Just push that. <laughs> push the gas pedal harder. Push the gas pedal harder. Oh, wrong side of the road. Wrong side of the road. Up, 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 up. Hey. Oh, close, 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 close. All right. Well, there we go. And he's off. What is up? Do they just have dirty roads in it Texas? It has to be dirt. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, what is going it is on? It has dusty. to be dirt. What, they is don't have dusty? street cleaning yeah. smoke. <laughs> Got all the oil. <laughs> oh, there we go. Well, we're in a good part of town now. This road's clean. You can see it. There we go. There's V6 and six <laughs> Coming up, coming up. Get, yep, yep, get. I, 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 could, I, can, I, I don't know if the camera operator is sitting there going, Bob, get closer. Why, why, why can't we catch up? Go, go, go. Come on. I know this thing goes faster. And there he goes, losing it again, going by the pawn shop. You're going to be going by there to pick up your bail. Making another U-turn. Weren't we just here? Oh, what? Oh, dude, oh he's just my You guys were right there. <laughs> oh, my God, you got me clapping. Here we go. And look at look at the distance. What what happened? You, you, you know what it is. Those two cops are like, dude, you, you blocked me. You blocked me. 105. Ah, maybe it is a V8. Maybe it is a V8. Back onto the dirty roads. Again. Yes, it is. Back onto the, <laughs> maybe these are dirt roads. Who knows? Whoa! Yes, oh, dude, yes there's they're dirty. Nobody around you. What is wrong with you? Oh, you know what it is? It's all the sand on the road. Yeah. So, exactly. Yeah, it's the dirty roads. You know that, that's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> that, that's it. The officers in, in, up there in Texas are like. And this other car is like, yeah, oh shit! Say, I'm shit! I'm shit! Right? He's like, I'm just trying to get out I'm of the just, way. Yeah. Bro, I'm just trying to go home, man. What are you doing? Up, uh, up, uh, what's going on here? Now I'm really confused. Oh, he wanted to say hi again. Oh, yep, here we go, here we go. That officer was waiting for him. Did yeah. You, is this the same one? Yes. Wait, wait, why is the car red all of a sudden? What it's happened here? It's not red, it's dirty. Oh, it's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, why are we going so slow? And, and why are we pulling out? What are you zooming out for? What? what don't listen to To show to the, the traffic. The booth. Here we go, here we go, okay. All right, in the fast lane. Da, 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 da. There we go. Here we go. Here we. Go. Oh man, he's passing everybody. Is that even a lane? Is that even? It, it, is that? A, no, that can't be a lane. There's no, no it way. can't there's, be. There's nobody in it. I think his lights are off. It's H O V. Yeah, H O V or 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 breakdown breakdown lane. That's that's what they call uh, the emergency lane in like other cities, other states. Got that a breakdown lane there. All right, man. He is moving out. Well, why, what, why don't we have the speedometer What other now? states do they call it a breakdown lane? Uh, you know, the, the non-California ones. 
they're like, oh, we got a breakdown right now. There we go. That's moving no, across that's, Houston. You've made that up. Houston. <laughs> That's oh it. my, oh my God. God! Did you see that? <laughs> Holy shnikes! He hit something. What the heck was that? Oh, they, they, they're, they're doing the mix, the DJ mix. Oh, <laughs> bring it back, bring it back. Yes. Oh, oh, man! What was that? What happened? It's a Mopar, that's what happened. It was going good until it, until you hit something with it, and then it just comes apart. Boom! Oh, oh he hit a car. Oh, he hit a truck. Three! Yeah. Three cars! Oh, that's a wheel. He lost the wheel. Yeah. Yes. He lost the wheel. That truck knocked it oh, off. Oh, my yeah. gosh. And he's like, he's like, he, he clipped off the a wheel. Open. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it came to a stop. Oh, that's where he jumps out with the dog. I've seen this one. Oh, you've seen this? He jumps out with the dog. He's got a puppy. Dog. Oh, oh man. And the, the poor dog like, is like, what the like, fuck? Going, man? He was like, I don't have papers. <laughs> I love the sparkler show, man. That was great. I think the dog was driving. Oh, the dog. The dog caught up. <laughs> Yes! The dog's like, hey, where are you going? <laughs> the dog's like, he's over here. He's <laughs> over here. He's got weed. <laughs> right. Oh, man, this guy can run. Okay, what's he doing? Oh, and don't tell me he's hiding behind a car because I don't want to get in that kind of problem again. Nope, nope. Is that water? <laughs> right, like what? what, what or what his are pants are falling down. His pants are falling down? Perhaps. I don't know. It looks like he ran into some water. Are those cars parked in water? Looks like he's looking to get in the car. I, I wish we could talk to the guy in the helicopter. Be like, "Hey, Bob, does that is, is there water in that parking lot?" Is, oh no, it's not water. The dog's like, "The dog hey, gave him up." Here. He's <laughs> over here. The dog gave him up. The dog yes, gave did. him up. Man's best friend. <laughs> right. yep. Not today. The kid. dog's looking for a job. He's <laughs> like, yeah, he's like, "Hey, listen." <laughs> he's like, "Y'all I got this like police dog to get a good retirement." <laughs> right. <laughs> Y'all got right, a program right. or something that I Again, can get I in? I, I can't understand. Why are we so wide? Is this helicopter in like outer space? What is going on here? <laughs> it's sky eye. Sky eye, right? <laughs> can't be close up. Can't, can't be close eye. Oh, oh, yo, you found the zoom. You found the zoom. Oh. Look how nice they are over there. <laughs> they are not. <laughs> they, they are not. Normally, like, they get tackled over here. <clears throat> Well, they're all tired. They've been chasing this guy all afternoon. <laughs> oh, look at that. Woo! <laughs> Golf freeway. That was that was fun. That was that was a good one. Thank you, Moy. Yes. The horses. <laughs> eh. do we that, I was do, worried about do the we horses. Do one more. This is a local one. A local? Yes. Do we do a local? It's up yeah, to you. You're do the a guest. local. It's up to you. All right. Yeah. Local the guest the guest local. says one more. L A chases are the best. LA yeah. Chase. Here we go. Here we go. Many people. What what is it? Sky map. Oh, it's a Honda Civic. See? Those Honda Civics. Yes. They're great cars. I don't have a problem with a Honda Civic. Just don't try to race it. <laughs> Man, he's flying. He said eighty five. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, uh, whoa. This is like, I, I need to, we need to, excuse me, pardon me. Doors open. Back in. Oh, I love these. Oh, come on, dude. Did he run out of gas? No. Is he trying to steal that? I was going to say, there's no way he's going to be able to steal. Is he, what is he doing? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he do. What do you think he is? Gone in 60 seconds? What was that? Uh, More than 60 Parking seconds. Tree. Are you sure I'm not shooting? <laughs> uh, oh, no. No, no. Where, where are the cops? They're behind them. This is actually, uh, did you shoot this? Because no. this is some good. This, oh, I remember this one. This is the one that keeps going and going, right? That's why it's sped up. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets, the... he's gonna, he got in that van. He, this guy, you know, I, I don't think the terminology "good car thief" is, is is correct, you know. But he's pretty good because he stole that other car, you know, and now he's stealing. Wow, he thing. stole the van. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He got in and he started it. Um. What? Whoop. I was just gonna say that I've I've just heard that those are kind of easy to the vans. <laughs> well, everything's like he, right well, there. Well, you know, yeah. but it's just the, like the idea that he yeah. knew that that was easy to steal. <laughs> I, I'm surprised that these cops are this this casual. I mean, come on, dude. 
And he gets charged for every time he hits, doesn't he? I don't know. Who it, knows? I, 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 you know, I, I get people that ask that all the time, and I really doubt somebody's sitting down there writing this all down. Got a bunch of cops. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Man. I just want to say that it's just more entertaining. It's a little faster? Yes. Yeah, it is. A little, whoa! <laughs> look at that. Does it go off road? Well, yes, it does. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh I don't like man. your mirror and I don't like your car. There we go. It Come is on. Got way it back more on the road. Back on the road. Getting on the freeway now. He uh, almost lost it. Huh? Rob shot this. Rob shot. Rob. Rob's oh. amazing. Rob's amazing. That was a nice little little kick out there. Oh, I like it when he does. Oh, Rob, I love you, buddy. I love the Rob. See, it's like little things like that. Those little nuances. Still, let's concentrate on the pursuit. Here we go. Up, oh, wrong side of the road. Wrong side of the road. At least he didn't try to get over the center divider. That would have messed up the truck. And or did we just slow it down? Here we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's classy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, what did he run over there? A lot of dirt. Okay. Now we're slowing down. Slowing Maybe down. he's from Texas. I'm gonna. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't like shrubbery. Is this the same place? Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> That's a good drift. Yeah. What? Has he got a flat tire? He's got to have a flat. Yeah, he's got a flat tire. He's got a flat tire. And he's still going. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Every time he does that, he's hitting the brakes. <clears throat> nice. Now, oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh no. come on. <laughs> come on. <clears throat> I know this isn't over here because this isn't. Look at all the sparks. He's trying. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying. Why? Turn the wheel. Turn the wheel. Oh, right, I'm not supposed to help him. Just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> I am surprised they're not shooting at him. I'm being serious. Oh, look at that. Ooh, he, he heard hot. you. He's turning the wheel. Yeah. It, it broke down. Yeah, he's, he's, he's wedged up. He's hemmed up. He's on the axle. He's on the axle. Got a little fire going yep. right there. Car overheated. Yeah, yeah. And the cops, the, the, it's like, <laughs> why, I, I, wow, look at that. Why, why aren't they just blocking them in? Why aren't they like coming and swarming and just kind of like blocking them in? And what about these other people? Were they driving or were those cars parked right there? Cars were they were parked. Cars were parked. Oh, yep. How did that happen? <laughs> how did that happen? It's not funny. Oh my God. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> The cop driving by. Saying, hey, do you see anybody run by here? Yeah, he went that way. There we go. You know, I want to do one of these and have a guy running, and I want to put the speedometer on him. <laughs> I want to know how fast he's going. Oh, look at that. He, he, did, he, did, he did his own little drift to get into it. Yeah, he okay. did. All right. Oh, yes. Thank you for the blue circle. Yes. <laughs> God, Rob is amazing. Okay. You have to do that live? Yeah, you do that live. You oh, that's that cool. Live. And, oh, no, oh, oh. The dogs are like, hey, let us in too. <laughs> oh, oh, this is the guy that gets the new truck. He goes, he goes in there and they, they, everybody interviewed the people. He, he pulled a knife on somebody. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he pulled a knife on somebody and the, like the family's like, no, you can't take our truck. You Screw you. Because that's, like, that's their whole work truck. Get the right, dogs out. Right, right, right. And, they're, and he's like, nope, I'm taking it. There he goes. Because that's his, that's that gentleman's life. Life, yes, yes. And he, and he, and he is. Damn, okay. Yeah. Like. Oh my yeah. gosh. Not, this guy does not like mirrors not at truck all. Anymore. No, he doesn't. No, no, he doesn't. Wrong side of the road. You know. Yeah. Oh, that's scary. Oh God, yeah, exactly. You watch all chases at two times the speed. Yeah, you right. should. <laughs> Okay. We just 74. fast forward 74. to their. Oh, oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Just fast forward to the arrest, basically. He's but, like, you know, he's like, hey, there's a tow truck. Man, they're just like, we're just waiting on you, dog. Oh, look at that fancy thing. You got a little helicopter and a compass? Like, anybody needs that. <clears throat> Jeez. Can we get wind direction, too? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got more mirrors. This guy hates mirrors. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh. <clears throat> oh, another dead end. Uh -oh. What are you going to do? Should have used Waze. <laughs> oh, he doesn't oh like cop mirrors either. And these other cops, I mean, what are they doing? Are they like, what, what is going on here? <clears throat> all right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Finally. Oh. 
Let's just all stay single file. I mean, I, I, I don't want to critique. And you know what? And it seems like every officer in town is there. A lot of times they do the exact opposite. Oh, flat tire. <clears throat> yep, we're going back to that. He's trying to cut gas, grass what, at the same time. What, what, yeah, what kind of car? Is that a Chevy? Uh, I think it's a Chevy. Oh, it was. Oh, geez. oh geez. dang. Man, Can guy. you imagine just sitting in traffic and then that happens and you're like, what the? And I mean, clearly you realize it's a chase. But, oh, oh, my oh, God. Jeez. Like, I would just be like, dude, this is paid this. for. Oh, that, 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 he has no control over that car right now. No. Oh, I remember that. I remember that. Oh, oh my gosh. Like not a, the gas pump. Yeah. No, not oh, the okay. Trash can. Just the gas. Okay. Yeah. Oh geez, and and he's not done, and he's not done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm surprised they haven't started opening fire on him. I think there they you do. go. I think they do. I I, I kind of forget, but I think they do. They do. They do not hit him. Right, which is also you know. Just, and I would you totally give understand. Them credit. Yeah. You give these officers credit, and then you got all these other people over there. I remember they were they were unhappy about it, and I was like, dude, come on. Who people? <laughs> the civilian people. people? Got beat up. The guy yeah. Got beat up, jumping out of his car. Yes. Who, this guy? Yeah, because the officers were arriving and they, you know, they didn't know who was who. Okay, so they're taking him off now. Yeah, yeah, but that's not, that's not I, the bad No, guy. that's not the bad guy. Right, and he's still trying. Yes, he is. Where are you going? Right. Where are you going? <clears throat> Where are you going? Yeah, that front, yeah, he's yeah, that done. He's not going anywhere. Looks like that sheriff's car has got a for sale sign in it, but it's just a reflection. Oh, got a little fire going right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. <coughs> Look at these guys. All right. And in two that. times speed. Yeah, it's got a little fire. They look super efficient. This was, this was a good one. I remember this. I remember this. <clears throat> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we got the, oh they got the, the gas container on a stick. Or was it just, oh, they just broke it out. They just broke it out. They're like looking inside going, hey, buddy, did you, are you shot? Um, no. Considering the last time he popped out of the passenger side of the van, yeah, I would you should, think, maybe we yeah, maybe we should get like, there. we should be like, all right, we got eight joints over here. Let's put four and four. Right. <laughs> hey, somebody thought of it. There you go. Here, <laughs> let me help you out the other side. There you go. And he's in custody. No point in resisting now. Yeah. Man, that guy, had, I mean, you know, oh there's goodness. no such thing as a good car thief, but that guy had skills. You maybe should look he, he did. He played he GTA. Did. A lot of GTA. Five stars. I, I was going to yeah. say, I don't, I don't think in GTA they're actually like, this is how you steal the car. No, no. You know, they're not like. No, you got to learn how to do it. Man, that was a good one. Anyways, I, I, I don't know. Are we pushing the hour mark? We're over. Pass. <laughs> Well, we're pushing to. Anyways, I just want to say thank you everybody for hanging out with us. That was a it was a hoot, Jeremy. You have anything else? No, I had a great I mean, time. You, you, you brought the bag of tricks. There's no Did doubt I? about Did it. Did I? You brought you, you brought out a lot of stuff today. I appreciate it. Yeah, if, if, uh, let me can I give you a shout out? Huh? Can I do a shout out? Of course. No, no, you, no, you're no. Not allowed. If not uh, anyone would love to support the social club and some charity events, I'd love for you to follow our Instagram. It's secret society underscore SC stands for social club. And uh, hopefully you could start your journey with us. There'll probably be a link somewhere. We'll, we'll write something up, right? Yeah. Any, I've been writing it up. Anything. Don't worry about that. Any, uh, I've no, got don't it, worry like, pretty okay. little about that. <laughs> right. It, any, anybody, me any, and the moderators, we've got the links happening, whatever. Okay. Wow. So uh, other moderators, <laughs> anybody, anybody, some last questions. Anybody uh, want to know where to get a nifty hat? Oh, the oh. nifty hats are from like they can the website. Yeah. The website. Yeah, they can the find the website. Yeah, the website. Uh, and, the cool shirts, and the cool shirts. And the cool shirts. Really not the, not these anymore, right? No, uh, actually, there's a couple left, but they're they're we only do limited runs. Um, they did we, ask about a Hot Wheels collection. Do you have any? Uh, you Hot know, Wheels? maybe Hot we Wheels. could work on something. We could work on making some little cars. Okay. All right. No personal that. Hot Wheel collection? Uh, I don't personally collect Hot Wheels. Okay, gotcha. I, I collect the big cars. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah. Thank you. Um, our, our own merch, uh, I think, Marcel, I, I haven't done anything in the, last, in the last two weeks. I said I would, but I'm going to. 
I'm going to look back into making the original stickers again. And stickers might be coming back on a personal note. On a personal note. Um, Mike, my pilot, Mike, had, Mike, Mike. had come up, uh, Nacho, that's his, that's his real name, had come up with an idea of uh, making an actual, go to Build-A-Bear and making an actual stew bear and auctioning it off um, for a worthy cause. We don't know what the worthy cause is as of yet, but I would venture to say that I would like to try to do something more on a personal level, not like, you know, I mean, I don't mind children's hospital or anything big like that, but uh, every now and then we'll hear a story of a, a child that needs or a family that needs and I was kind of thinking about doing something like that. Uh, I don't know what kind of traction it would get. I don't want to be embarrassed, you know, but uh, I'm you, actually, You'll have good traction. You think I'll get good traction? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm thinking about building a little stew bear. The, the, the question really is also, it's like, can we get it a little puff jacket and a little Fox 11 on it's it? It's got to do the... And, and, oh, you can do that. It's got to do the thing. Yeah, the maybe, do maybe it could, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would, but they also have a little thing where you can record a message, apparently. You know, and I was thinking of maybe you'd know, like say something like, Watch your back. <laughs> Get the shot. Get the shot. <laughs> or whoa. We can do your whoa. Whoa. The whoa might be good. The yeah. whoa might be good. Maybe you could just maybe do like one, like every couple of months, like a bi monthly type thing, or just right. like collect them every couple of months or once a quarter. Well, you can't collect them because. No, we, I mean, we, you we could do one like once off. a. Right, no, but like once a quarter, you could do one. And it's yeah. almost like a collection of sayings. Because like, I, I want to. One quarter could that. be the woe, and then That'd another cool. quarter is like the. Idea. He's right there. And yeah. He's right there. <laughs> right. Like he's idea. right there. Right. There you go. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Dad jokes. <laughs> We're keeping the dad jokes coming to the <laughs> very last minute, guys. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know what? I've just got Coca-Cola. <laughs> he, he's completely, completely sober. sober. And he, five minutes or whatever on Thailand. Five minutes on They're asking Thailand. about Thailand. They're um, like, he wants to talk about Thailand. No, no, I'm trying if, to get, if he wants to, guys. If I'm he trying wants to get to Stu to go Thailand. with me. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, it was amazing. If you, if you haven't gone to an uh, uh, Asian, South Asian East country, you need to go to Thailand. Okay, good. It's amazing. Yeah. And then, and Thank now, you. Now, now it's the awkward silence. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, I got to convince Stu to have a shot with me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it, yeah, you got to take a shot. That's alcohol. Shot, shot, I shot, I shot, you know shot. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, other than that, Jeremy, you were amazing. Thank you for coming with us. Coming Always with us on you. our ride, as it would be. Mm -hmm. um, we do have some other folks in the queue, but honestly, if you have any suggestions, know anybody that might want to be on the show, please. Uh, and it's not, I don't say it like we're, we're that desperate, but you know, please, if you have other people that might want to be on the show, if you want to be on the show, uh, we can, we'd love to hear from you. You can reach out to us. You, can, you know Marcel, you, now you know Siamara, and you know myself, you can find us. If, if you're watching us, you probably know where we're at. So. Anyways, other than that, again, thank you so much for being with us again. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in, well, I know we're going to see you in two weeks. Two weeks, well, it's going to be a little tough, right? Because I'm working Saturdays for the next three Saturdays, which is kind of good because it's just one Saturday. But we might go stringing after work, right, Marcel? Who votes for that? Who votes for, who votes for going stringing after yeah. work? Because, because the next show... Uh, is um, anniversary. It's the one year anniversary when you guys went stringing and you guys just had that idea of just getting in the van and going out stringing. What is that, paper? <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid. Just, yes, it is. It is well, a paper. Wanna, you know, it's a paper anniversary. You paper just want to, maybe you could like, maybe like origami. Origami. Something. <laughs> something. Make an origami helicopter. <laughs> yes. So we're going to have an origami segment on... <laughs> Driving around, driving around in the van after <laughs> Stu has worked a full day. <coughs> and, and Everybody get your 
your five by five squares of paper, right. and we're going to have an origami segment. Yes, so, for our anyways, paper I, I, one year uh, anniversary. I, again, I can't thank I can't thank Jeremy enough Thanks for, for having me. CMR, so thank you so much for spending your Saturday with us. And of course, Marcel for bringing all the toys and making it all possible. Um, yeah, I love big you guys. shout out. Um, and uh, I, I love all the viewers too. Thank you guys for yes. watching. And yes. uh, we'll see you in two weeks. Yes. yes. Thank you guys. See you. Thank you. Bye.